Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Really interesting exponential equation today, and I hope you will enjoy this interesting problem. So on the first side, this problem is easy one because we have like no huge power, we have two, three, we have x, if this is a little bit close, a little, little bit of small equation. So how can we solve this interesting equation? On the first side, this is easy one, but we can easily solve it not like in, in two, three minutes, but maybe in eight minutes. So I hope you enjoy this video. So how can we solve it? Let's apply logarithm on both of the sides, but not logarithm, let's natural log. So natural log of x square equal to natural log of 3 to the x. We will know a really good property because if we have natural log, we apply this for the for things to bring these powers right here in the beginning. So on the left hand side 2, on the right hand side we have we have x. So let's do this. We will have 2 right here natural log, but not x but absolute value of x because we have x square right here so it can be positive it can be negative we don't know it right now equal to x times natural log natural log 3 so i hope you understand this step and right now let's try to find x from here step by step step by step let's find x so right here let's divide both side by by 2 let's do this if we divide by 2 from here we we cancel this problem so we will have natural log natural log absolute value of x equal to x natural log 3 over over 2. So I hope you understand this step. Just divide both sides by 2. And right now let's divide both sides by, by x. What we will have as a result from here we cancel this. And on the left hand side natural log absolute value x dividing by x equal to natural log 3 dividing by 2. So I hope you I hope you understand this step. This is a constant, this is our axis, but x in our logarithm and x in our denominator, it makes it so difficult right now. So let's simplify this a little bit. I suggest you to bring this x in our denominator and let's take a, take a look x to the power minus 1. We have right here this x jump in our denominator. I do this right now, x to the power minus 1 times natural log absolute value x equal to natural log 3 over over 2. So this is right now that we can simplify this this is maximum that we can do this with this problem but if you want to solve it next we need to know about a little bit about lambert w function so lambert w function f lambert w function equal to w times e to the power w so it looks like that for those who don't know if we i wanted to, to explain it a little bit informative for you to you to know about it so for, for those who don't know about lambert w function if we apply lambert w function from this expression x times e to the power x as a result we will have only x so this is for those who don't know about lambert w function so if you apply this function to this expression same power and the right here same element we'll have only our x so let's do this let's try to find it step by step but i want to start with with this one right here we have absolute value so we'll have two two cases with it the first one x need to be positive so we will have x to the power minus one x to the power minus one times natural log x equal to i write it as one half right here one half times log natural log three so we firstly we find with with the positive x Let's simplify this a little bit. I want to write this natural log x right here, so natural log x, and this to the power x to the power minus 1, I want to write it in another way. I want to write this one as e to the power natural log x and to the power minus to the power minus 1. So I hope you understand this step, because this is equal to 1 and x to the power minus 1 as we have right here. So I, I change nothing. Equal to this natural log 3 times 1 half we can bring this 1 half right here if we bring this 1 half right here we will have 3 to the power 1 half which said that, that we have a natural log square root of 3 so i hope you understand this step it's really a little bit difficult but i hope you understand this problem natural log right here x to the power minus 1 right in this way and natural log square root of 3. so let's go next let's solve this let's solve this next right here this x jump behind this natural log. So we will have natural log x, natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to natural log square root of 3. 
So I hope you see right now closely that we had we have right here something looks like this function x times e to the power x. But right here we have not x, right here in, in our power we have minus no natural logarithm x. But right here we have natural logarithm x. So if we multiply both sides by minus 1, so take a look, if we multiply by minus 1 we will have minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log square root of 3. So I hope you understand this step. And right now, take a look right here. This is minus natural log x and this is minus natural log x as we have right here in Lambert W function. So this and this one is the same. So if you apply Lambert W function to, to both sides, what we will have? Lambert W function, we apply this on the left hand side, minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x and of course, and on the right hand side, the Lambert W function minus natural log square root of 3. So if you apply this to this expression, x times e to the power x, but not x minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x, which is absolutely the same, so we have only x, but x in our case is minus natural log x. So we will have minus natural log x, minus natural log x equal to Lambert W function, of this expression minus natural log which minus natural log 3 let's multiply it by minus 1 by minus 1 if you multiply it we will have only our natural log x equal to minus Lambert W function of minus natural log square root of 3 so I want to mention that this is a constant right here there is a, there are many tables in on the internet so we can easily find exact value of this of this of this expression on the right hand side. So we have natural log, if we multiply e from both of the side, right here x, we will have only our x, x is equal to e to the power minus Lambert W function of minus natural log square root of 3. So this is our solution. Oh, moreover, we can bring this on the denominator, so 1 over e to the power Lambert W function of minus natural log square root of 3. So this is our x. But it tells us nothing because this is a little bit complicated expression right here. But I found in, on the internet, I find a table with Lambert W function and right here we'll have no, no solution. This gives us no solution because Lambert W function in this point minus nature log 3 does not exist. So we cannot find our x in real numbers. So right here no, no solution no solution right here. So let's find another another solution right here. This is x is positive, let's find with negative one. So second, x is x is negative one. What we will have as a result? If, if x is negative one, what we will have? We will have x to the power minus one times natural log right here we will have minus x equal to one half times natural log 3. And I want to mention one really interesting moment right here. It will be completely the same, so with positive, with negative 1, but in one moment. We multiply it by minus, we bring, we write it as e to the power natural log x, so we can completely do the same steps as right here, but one and only moment will be with these minuses. So if you're interested in this, you can easily solve it step by step and of course you will practice your Lambert W function. But I want to write a final answer and of course as you can see it will be completely the same because our final answer will be the next one. So x with, with a negative one, so x with, if this is with negative value, this is with positive. So with positive we don't have any roots. But with negative one we have really interesting moment. With negative one we have x equal to minus right here 1 or oh, right here e to the power Lambert W function of natural log square root of 3. So this is our when x is negative 1. This is our root when x is negative 1. But one moment right here we will have roots because Lambert W function in this point give us 0 0.377. And moreover, we can easily write this x as minus 1 over e to the power 0, 0,377, which give us our final answer. Our final answer will be minus, or approximately, of course, minus 
zero point six eight six. This is our our solution. One and only root in this interesting equation. So this is our root right here. So answer answer. So right here we cannot find our Lambert W function. This is a problem. But right here we can find it and we find our root right here. X is approximately equal to minus 0 0.686 and this is our our answer so as you can see we, we can find only one point of intersection right here so as you can see right here we have 3 to the power x is our exponential function and x square is our is our parabola so we can find right here our one point of intersection only in this in this way maybe right here they does not intersect because we don't have any any point of intersection if x is positive one so x is only intersect in one point when x is negative so this is our minus 0 0.686 one and only root really interesting problem i hope you enjoy it i hope you be with me until the end of the video because i try my best to explain you to to solve interesting problem and of course thank you so much for watching Thank you for your support, for your thumbs up, I really appreciate it, and see you in the next videos, have a great day.